I am Tammy Beilstein. Welcome to Tammy's Window on Calaveras. I have with me tonight someone I'm really excited to introduce you to. Her name is Heather Gum, and she is from with DoTerra Essential Oils. Yes. DoTerra with Gum. Is, is at, my name of my okay. <laughs> the name of her business. business. <laughs> so she and I met, um, oh, it was a month ago. It was at the Rotary Shrimp Feed, the shrimp feed. in Murphy's. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we had a heck of a good time, let me just say Dancing. that. Dancing? <laughs> it was so Dancing fun. Dancing like crazy. We met each other that night, and I kind of felt like I'd known her forever. You know how that happens. It was really neat. And she told me then that she does a lot of work with the essential oils, and I was really fascinated with that. Um, I've heard a lot about them, but I don't know a lot about them, just that it seems like they're really popular right now. So... First of all, hi. Hi. <laughs> Glad to see you again. Absolutely. It's good um, to see you, too. And thank you for being here. Um, God, where do we start? What, what got you interested in oils? The, um, the thing that got me interested in oils was I had a time probably about 10 years ago when I was diagnosed with a debilitating disease. Mm -hmm. The doctors thought that I was really sick. I showed all the physical manifestations. Mm -hmm but I didn't show any of the screens and the blood tests that they did. The x-rays oh. came back negative. They, they couldn't figure I was an anomaly. I looked wow. like I had it, but I didn't. That's they bizarre. couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Uh -huh. They pumped me full of medication, and they got to the point where they had to check my liver every two weeks to oh. make sure they weren't killing me. Oh, my gosh. And at that point in time, I said, You've, stop. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a different way. Mm -hmm. Um, and turned back to natural medicine um, and found out that I, in fact, did not have this debilitating disease. I was just really stressed. Oh, yeah. Single That'll mother, do it. two small children, yeah. very stressed. <laughs> yeah, I, so. I totally understand that. Did you already know much about oils, or was no. it something that maybe a friend of yours was doing? It's How'd something you turn that to this? I turned to essential oils, and I turned to doTERRA specifically um, from one of my friends okay. who was very well versed in natural medication mm -hmm. um, and holistic healing. Uh, and I turned to essential oils because I wanted to be able to stop buying things over the counter that were damaging myself and damaging my children okay. um, from my very scary experience. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to, to minimize the things that I had in my cupboard for cleaning, for my own discomforts that I might have. Yeah. I can use these oils that I have in front of me to do pretty much everything that I need. Really? Yeah. Because there's... I. I'm pretty darn healthy, you know, for my, for my age, I guess. Once you hit 50, you know, things start happening. And, um, but I do, I have asthma and I have a low thyroid. Those are the only things I take medication for. The asthma is really scary, though, um, that I have to take the rescue inhaler. Sometimes quite often, depending what season it is. Right. Is there something uh, in these oils that might There's help with that breathing? There's stuff help. Yeah. There's stuff that can help. And I do want to say that there is always a reason for some of the Western medication. Right. A good healthy mix, right, exactly. between the Eastern and Western. The yeah. one thing that I like about essential oils, essential oils don't come in and, and fix you. They help mm. balance your system out. Okay. So it's you're in this middle of a springboard, and it's balancing yeah. you out on this teeter-totter, um, which is really quite lovely mm. uh, to know that you're using something that's natural. Right. Uh, the reason why I go with this brand is you can't just go to any store and buy an essential oil and get the same quality from brand to brand to brand. How can you tell? You can't. Oh. You have to do your research. All right. Um, if you find an essential oil that is in a clear bottle, clear glass bottle, it's mm -hmm. not as pure. They're not worried about oh. making sure that it will last very long okay. because the sun and the heat can damage the oil and cause it to not be as potent as it should be. That's good to know. Yes. There are also huh. other companies that will put in fillers in with their oils. So okay. it's not just the pure therapeutic grade essential oils, yeah. like the doTERRA brand. They'll have fillers in it. Mm -hmm. So they only have to put in such a small amount of an essential oil and then fill the bottle with whatever. Oh, that's not right. It's not as, as good you know as it I'm could doing? be. What's that? I just realized it. I only have one of these. And it's lavender. And when I can't sleep, I like, you know, sprinkle it on my pillow. Mm -hmm. But I keep it on my nightstand right in front of a big old window in my bedroom. I should probably move it. Does it get a lot of sun throughout the day? <laughs> it, well, not through the whole day, but it does get some good sun You'll in You'll want to move it. Glad. Good to know. Yeah. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Good point. Okay. So, but so speaking about breathing, mm -hmm. there's a couple of different things that you can do. And I told you one type of essential oil will be able to do multiple things. So okay. for example, peppermint oil, uh -huh. it's great for multitude of things. Okay. I don't know if you noticed at the shrimp feed, my daughter mostly had it. I had a glass bottle with a spray cap on it. It was oh hot. Goodness. It was really yeah. hot at the shrimp feed in Murphy's, right. and it was peppermint oil and water, and I would spray it on me, and uh -huh. it cooled me off. When the breeze hit, it yeah. cools you off. Oh, and you smelled awesome. I smelled like peppermint. <laughs> yeah. Try some peppermint. That's neat. Oh, so good. Now, beyond cooling you off, mm. it also helps wake you up, it mm -hmm. and it'll help you open your airway. So you just take a drop in your hand uh -huh. like that. Go ahead. And then you rub your hands together. Oops. Okay. And then cup it over your nose and breathe in. Oh, wow. Can you feel it opening your yes. airway and waking your more alert? I, I 10,000 times more intense than sniffing it from the bottle. Yes. That is. Yes. And you can also just rub your hands again oh, together. Uh -huh. And it opens it back up and allows you to... Breathe, breathe in the oils. Oh my God! And it's I, great it for really breath freshener. I use. I'll, I'll put a drop of oil. Sometimes I get too many drops out of this yeah. bottle, so I don't like to do it out of this size bottle. <laughs> All right. Because it's very strong. Uh, One drop of peppermint and, is like twenty-eight cups of pure peppermint tea. Whoa. Yes. Essential oil is very potent. So is, it is safe to put on your skin. Yes. And to breathe it in. Absolutely. Can you put that in you, tea and drink it? I would put this in, I, I, in fact, I do put most of these in my, my foods. I'll cook with it. Yeah. I'll put it in my drinks. If I'm having mm. a nice cocktail and want a little lime, but I'm out mm. of fresh lime, take my lime essential oil, drop a little drop in, and there we go. Nice. And then I don't have to worry about that <laughs> lime anymore. How long should this last? Because... It really is still working really well. It will last for quite a while. Mm. Um, my daughter has problems with her breathing at certain times of the year. Yeah. She also has times when she's in crowds uh -huh. that she gets just a little anxious. Anxious, yeah. She gets a little scared and right. kind of closes off. So I gave her, this is another, this is one of doTERRA's brands that they've made, a blend that they have made. Um, and I give her this one. Um, and it's called Breathe. And you can oh, go ahead nice. and put a drop. Mix in it your with hand. the peppermint. Absolutely, that's the nice thing. You can layer all the essential oils together. You can always add more oils yeah. on and just layer them. I use oh, about four or five nice. every single morning when I'm getting dressed in the morning. That is calming. It's this is the calming, calming one. No, this is breathe. It's because to open up your airways. It smells really. Um, you have eucalyptus in it, and yeah. there's peppermint in there as well. In fact, it says so it's, on the. Gosh, I'm not so great at describing these, these scents, but it's milder than this. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's nice. It's very nice. The nice thing about it is that my daughter takes over. She was taking over the counter medication mm -hmm. for her breathing issues. I didn't want her to do that. Right. She was 10, and yeah. she had to start taking this medication. Yeah. She also couldn't take it at school without a doctor's note. Oh, And good this point. was before Obamacare, and mm -hmm. we didn't have insurance. Mm -hmm. So I would have to pay quite a bit of money to go get a doctor's note yeah. for her to take over-the-counter medication that was hurting her body so she could take it at school. Right. So now with, with the Breathe, I have a rollerball that I made for her, and I put um, fractionated coconut oil, which I'll discuss in a minute, oh, Okay. and the Breathe. And all throughout the day, she can put it on her wrists, yeah. rub them together, similar to what we did with our hands, right. but with her wrists, and breathe it in and say, oh, I love my perfume. Yeah. And she's getting it's it not with the medication. Opener. So she's able oh, to nice. utilize it on a regular basis, mm -hmm. um, and she's, it makes her feel better. Right. It calms her down. She still has occasions where her eyes are a little bit runny. Mm -hmm. We just get more oils. Oh, what a neat thing mm -hmm. to do. So neat. It reminds me of, um, not, I mean, not this, the sense that we're doing right now, but uh, when we were younger, our moms would put um, mentholatum mm -hmm. on our chest to open up our, our breathing. And, uh, yeah, it had such a simple thing, it. but it did such a, a nice, uh, it did what it was supposed to do, and I don't think there are any side effects with using that sort of thing. Are there with this? Nope, it, only no, only side benefits. 
Yeah. There's no side, side effects. Benefits. Side I benefits. like that. Absolutely. Because yeah. like I said, it balances you out. Yeah. So you might be taking peppermint or you might use the breathe or mm -hmm. eucalyptus mm -hmm. for one thing. And you're taking it to open your airways. So you're using it on your hands. Yeah. It's absorbing into your skin and getting into your bloodstream. Yeah. What you don't know is that it's going into your body and it's balancing you out. So you might have a problem with your airways, uh -huh. but you might need it somewhere else. Okay. And it's going to go to the areas that it's needed most yeah. and help you out. That is so cool. It's and you can't do too much of any of the oils. You, just, you can't no. overdose. You can't overdose. Um, that's really neat. So I have, um, I use four or five oils in the morning as I'm getting dressed every morning. Which ones mm -hmm. are your favorites? I use frankincense. Frankincense yeah. is the, frankincense has been around for forever. Yeah. They used it in biblical times. You talked about essential oils being new. Yeah. They're not new. They've no. been around You're forever. Right. So yeah. I use frankincense every morning. Um, I use it on my skin underneath my eyes. Ooh, it's just a nice, good. yes, it's a good smelling, but it's good for you. And it, mm. it's the, when in doubt, grab your frankincense. Oh, nice. It's the good catch-all oil that will do everything. One like thing that, that I do want to say is that there are so many different options available to you. So you might use frankincense, peppermint, breathe, um, if you're having problems breathing, uh -huh. my daughter uses Breathe, and it works wonders for her, yeah. but it might not work as well for you. Okay. But peppermint might, or eucalyptus the Peppermint, might. I felt it open mm -hmm. up my sinuses in a good way. It just, right. And it's still there. Oh, yeah. so nice. Does it, um, does it last any longer if you are to drink it than to put it on your skin, or does that make any difference how you... So there's three ways body. to use the essential oils. You can use it aromatically, uh -huh. like we were doing when we were breathing it. Uh -huh. Topically, you put it on your skin topically like I do in the morning. My frankincense, my lavender, I use vetiver and I use myrrh um, every morning. Okay. And then I, use, I do drink it on a regular basis. I'll put a drop or two in my water uh -huh. and I'll have that every morning um, and throughout the day. So if okay. I want a pick-me-up, um, I'll use grapefruit. It's great to help flush your body of unwanted fluids. Oh, um, my friend Karen, she, she lives part-time in Israel, part-time in Santa Cruz. She, We're um, mix. oh, she's awesome. <laughs> um, she, so she flies a lot. She travels a lot and she would get bloated. And I was somewhere with her and I was like that. We were in Las Vegas. I was puffy. Now that you say that, she had one of these. I wonder if it was grapefruit because she put it in my water, and I pottied more that day than, <laughs> than probably the whole week before. But it made my, my puffiness go away. and um, Absolutely. I felt all slim. It was nice. <laughs> hmm, I need to get <laughs> We love our grapefruit right. every day. Yeah. I know, like grapefruit in a diaper, though. But yeah. <laughs> but, oh, that's some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then neat. during the middle of the day, I'll put on um, cinnamon. I'll use cinnamon in my water. Oh, what does that do for you? Um, well, cinnamon's got a lot of great capabilities, but what mm -hmm. I like about it most is I'm not drinking soda. It oh. has the heat and the sweetness of soda without right? the carbonation and without all the sugars. Oh, I should try that. So I'm that I'm hooked. ingesting more and more and more water, mm -hmm. which is great for me, and not drinking all of the other things that are not so great for me, except for my that, cocktail in the evening. <laughs> that is a really good idea. I, we were talking about weight loss before we started filming because I started a diet. But, um, uh, but I do not drink enough water. I'm mm -hmm. somebody who doesn't like the regular plain water, the taste of it. I'm bu always buying the bottled water, the flavored stuff, or the sparkling stuff. I'm going to try that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, when you put the oils in your water, uh -huh. make sure it's either in glass or stainless steel. Oh, how come? The oils will have the capability of, of breaking down the plastic. Okay. Because plastic does disintegrate in time. Okay. The oils do and you don't want to drink speed that. up that process. You're trying to flush the toxins out, not put more sure. in. So, yes, glass or stainless glass steel. Glass or stainless steel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And does just it matter a drop you, or two is all you need. Does it matter if you heat it up? It doesn't. Um, I do use the essential oils for cooking. Mm -hmm. And I know that when I'm cooking with the essential oils, the potency of what they can do is not as great okay. after I finish cooking it. Just like the lavender sitting in your bed window. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Still smells great, 
which yeah. is very helpful, but it's not as potent as it could be right. if it wasn't so hot. So yeah. you can put essential oils in hot liquid in your food that you're cooking. Uh -huh. um, you'll still have that flavor, the taste of mm -hmm. it, the aroma of it, which is wonderful. Um, I made a homemade granola with cinnamon and wild orange and mixed Ooh. into it. It's delicious, smells delicious, and I ate it all so you don't get any. <laughs> oh, you're you're so healthy, and you don't make it sound awful. It sounds really I, It's good. not awful at all. It's That's, absolutely, it's yeah. fun, and it's enjoyment. Uh, yeah. The kids love cooking with me in the kitchen because they get to, what oil are we going to use today? Right. Mm. That is so neat. Now, all your bottles here are the same size. This, when uh, people, this is the size of mine also. Okay. Is this the size they come in? Or you said something about a roller ball. Is that a different they, bottle you buy? They do have roller balls. Um, they don't all come in this size because you can see this one's a little bit smaller. Oh, no, I didn't notice that. So okay. this is the 15 milliliter bottle, which okay. most of the oils come in. Okay. Um, this is a smaller bottle that I got um, at a different time when they were doing a buy one, get one free. Uh-huh. And I got a smaller bottle. Okay. Um, but there are some oils that will only come in the small bottle. This one's got a bigger lat lid for it, but this is a five milliliter bottle. Okay. Um, and the reason being behind it is that to make this deep blue, the deep blue oil, and I love this deep blue oil when I come home and I'm a little stiff and sore and just mm -hmm. want to rub something in, pull out my deep blue and I use that I instead. I smell it. Mm, absolutely. It's actually blue in color if you want to take a drop. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. How, what is the scent that I'm smelling? It's Maybe a mixture deep blue, of a it? bunch of things. No, Deep Blue is the name. But you have Blue Tansy. You have a little bit of, I believe it's, let's see, Winter Leaf, Winter Green Leaf, Peppermint, Blue Tansy Flower, oh. Blue Chamomile Flower, Hillocrisium Flower. Yeah, a nice mixture. And it eases oh, the, it smells so the pain. Good. When you come home at the end of the day and you, you have kids. I yeah. have kids. Yeah, so I'm stressed. Too. But I also have a part-time job that's Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Mm -hmm. And I come home, and I'm a little tired and it worn out. Yeah. And I come home, and I take out my deep blue, and I rub it on the back of my neck. Oh, nice. And yeah. it helps just relieve the tension that's pulling up into your body <sighs> yeah. and let you relax and enjoy time with the children when you get home. That's called me just smelling it. Mm -hmm. Oh. I it's like great. it. Yeah. <laughs> so essential oils mm. are nature's defense Yeah. Um, for all plants and cells. And they're created from barks and seeds, roots, leaves, and the flowers. Mm -hmm. And there are some items that maybe won't smell exactly what you think the flower smells like, but that's not where the essential oils from. Oh, interesting. Okay. So if you get the floral, the bloom of the flower, mm -hmm. and you, you think that it's going to smell that way, they don't right. always smell like what you think it's going to smell like. Okay. So lavender mm -hmm. does not necessarily, it's delicious, but it does yeah. not necessarily smell like the bloom of the flower. Yeah, this is the one I have. Nice. Oh, I can see you like yours. It's, <laughs> it's not my first bottle. <laughs> um, oh, so the nice. essential oils, they, they do come, like I said, they come in the 15 milliliter uh -huh. bottle or um, some of them only come in the 5 milliliter bottle. Okay. The roller balls that we were talking about, um, they do have special blends that they've created. And what they do is they've blended their oils together to make a specialty blend. Um, and they usually top it off with fractionated coconut oil. Now, remember when I told you earlier that not all essential oils were made the same way and some of them had fillers? Mm -hmm. So fractionated coconut oil, it's a carrier oil. It's not a filler. What it does is it is a fat. It's coconut. Okay. It doesn't smell like coconut. It, they've, oh, it doesn't. They've processed it so it won't go rancid. It's not going to harden. And if I take a drop mm -hmm. of the oil, it's absorbing quickly into my hands. My hands are shiny too much. Yeah. So I'm going to rub it off. But you would never do that with no. your olive oil. No. Because it would leave grease sure. all over your body. Sure. This will not do that. Okay. So when you use that, do you put a couple drops of that in your hand and then a couple drops of this in your hand? You mix that together. I, I don't. I don't have sensitive skin. But if you're, you find that you have more sensitive skin, so uh -huh. you don't want the full strength of the peppermint right on your skin, okay. then yes, I would put a okay. couple drops of the fractionated coconut oil and a drop of that peppermint and rub it together. Does it last longer because you're mixing it with oil, the coconut oil? What the coconut oil is going to do is, like I said, it's a fat. Yeah. And so it surrounds the molecule of that essential oil. Uh -huh. 
So if you're using, because you can smell the peppermint still, right, without mm -hmm. your hands being close to your yeah. face? Yeah. So it's coming up and rolling off of your skin and becoming aromatic. Right. If you use the fractionated coconut oil, it surrounds that molecule and helps absorb into your skin. Into your skin, okay. So that that way you're getting more of it in your body and uh -huh. less of it into the air. Okay. That's so good for your skin anyway. I yes. use it um, around here a lot, and it's also good to help bring up makeup. is good for that, too. Oh, do you have that one? I do. Oh, yeah, that's the one that we smelled earlier. I like yep. that one. This one... Melaleuca. Melaleuca. Melaleuca is also known as tea tree oil. Oh, all righty. And so my children, being yeah. teenagers, <laughs> Mom, where's the Melaleuca? Yeah. <laughs> They want to go to a dance. They want to get their picture taken at school. Mm -hmm. They started using Melaleuca. Oh, it smells just nice. for all those little teenage skin eruptions that would occur. Yeah, that was for it? Well, yeah. it's not all just for Mel Melaleuca. is not just for that. It's for other things as well. We use okay. it for a number of, of items. Um, I use it in my shampoo. It's oh. good for your scalp. That's good. Um, and then, of course, I use it myself for my skin but yeah. I've moved on to other other ones that work better for me. Like I said, some work really well for somebody for the body yeah. chemistry. Some oils will work better for some people than others. So we we shift okay. like a pendulum. We shift back and forth between yeah. our products that we use oh, within so cool. the oils. How many are there? How many different oils do they make? They come Since, out I mean, with new ones. Yeah, Still? every year. Oh yeah, it's great. They come out with new ones every year. A lot of blends, mm -hmm. but they just released two new oils this year. One's spikenard and one's pettigrain, and mm -hmm. they're both um, they're both amazing, amazing okay. oils. One of them is the uh, it's the man's version of lavender. So if the oh. man wants all of the capabilities of lavender mm -hmm. for calming, soothing, relaxing, but doesn't want the girly smell. Yeah, doesn't smell flowery. Right. 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 Then they have a, an alternate choice oh, from that a different flower. Oh, nice. Right. Okay. Um, but then they also do different blends and they release their blends. So okay. at this time, I think there's 65 wow. oils between pure essential oils and then the pure essential blended oils. Yeah. Um, and then they've gone through and made roller bottles that have the fractionated coconut oil with the blend. Okay. Um, so just the list keeps on going. Yeah. So I'm guessing, so you have a website. Correct. Or, I do. Okay, so if I someone do. goes on your website, can they, is there a way to look up, like, I'm having difficulty breathing, and then it tells you which oils you're going to want? Is that how that works? So on the website, it, it talks about what the oils are good for. Okay, um, so I have, the other way around. A, I have a big book of knowledge that I look at. Yeah. And that tells me that I can either look at what the oil, what, what the oil is good for, uh -huh. or here's... An, an issue, a concern, and what oils would it? are the top okay. recommendations for that. And you're fine with people writing uh, you a question just saying, what Absolutely. do you recommend for this or that? Absolutely. That is so Absolutely. cool. Now, there are multiple ways to get the essential oils. I don't sell them on a regular basis, not out of my house. No? Um, okay. no, no, you don't buy them from me. You get to set up your own account on the website. Okay. Um, not in My website is part of doTERRA. So you set up your own account through doTERRA. Okay. And you end up buying directly from them. So I don't know what you're buying. I don't know how frequently oh. you're buying it. Okay. I, I don't need to know that. But what I can do is help you in figuring out what oils you want. You get some portion of it, right? Though if I buy through your website to go to them, because I'd want to make sure that you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. There's, it, there's a little compensation for it. Yes, Good. absolutely. Oh, I'm glad. But I also i am doing a lot of this just to be able to help people. Yeah. I don't want anybody else to have to be in this situation that I was in where right. I didn't think that I, I, would, I was alone with two children. I couldn't button their clothes because my hands hurt so bad. That's so sad. They had to learn how to dress themselves at a very early age. Mm -hmm. And I don't want anybody else to have to go through that. Yeah. So that's so sweet. I love that you're doing this from your, from your heart, and, and you can tell you uh, had invited me to a couple of different um, workshops or trainings that you were doing mm -hmm. just to introduce oils to people. And I thought that was really neat that you were doing that. Was one at the senior center? Was that at the senior center? Anyway, I, yeah. I thought it was really neat that you that you do that. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Because I love that I did too. I'm not a fan of taking medications, and but. Oh boy, this is this is really neat, and it yeah. smells so nice. Bonus, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you walk into everybody notices you when you walk in. Yeah, <laughs> you smell delicious. Thank you. <laughs> you know, there was a <laughs> there was a. Um, See, so we were talking that I work for hospice. Mm -hmm. There was a patient I heard of who um, is into oils, 
And she, obviously, she was dying. It was, the, in fact, it was the day that she was dying. And she was nervous, you know, anybody would be. And um, someone came to her house and brought a blend of these oils. And I think they, I think the name of it was Calling the Angels or something like that. Have you ever heard of that? Or is that something that she may have just made herself? She could have just made it herself. Yeah. Um, I haven't heard of that specific name. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do, like, I make my own blends and name them. So I'm... Oh, maybe we can come up with something like that. Oh, absolutely. I don't know who it was who came to her house, except that the people from hospice who were there were all talking about it. They thought it was beautiful. And they said that they could tell as she was you know, taking her last, last breaths and bringing, breathing, uh, breathing this in that it was really calming to her. And uh, it, I guess it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. So maybe we can find something out about that. Definitely. I'll start yeah. my research. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Absolutely. I just love these, these sorts of things. So can you give me an idea about how much these cost? Are they something anybody can afford? They range in price. Okay. Um, so something like the lemon, if you're buying it wholesale, which is buying it through your account online and you sign okay. up as a wholesale, do you have a Costco card? Yeah, I do. Okay. So it's like a Costco membership. Uh-huh. You pay $35 the first year. Okay. And then the next year it's only $25, but they give you a free bottle of peppermint. Okay. Okay. That's good. Peppermint is $20 and 50 cents. So you're paying four fifty to renew your membership. Oh, that's nice. To be able yeah. to get 25% off of, of the right. retail value. So are most of these about $20 then? No. Oh. Okay. No. So lemon um, on wholesale is about $10. Oh. Deep blue, I want to say, and I'm probably going to get this wrong, so I'm going to skip deep blue. Frankincense is about 65 Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay. Um, deep blue, I believe, is, I want to say it's about 45 but I might be, I haven't bought it in a while. Okay. Um. I usually buy it when I get one, buy one, get one free. Right. Oh, I would too. <laughs> oh, and we have like two minutes left, but about how long, say the bottle of peppermint, it's super popular and you can use it for a lot of different things. About how long would this last the average person? It depends on how many people are using it. Um, if it's just one person? Just um, one person. I've had my bottle of oil for peppermint. I give it away. I share it um, in little uh-huh. tiny bottles, so it's hard to say, but I would say about three months. Oh, that's it just depends on how frequently you're using it sure. and how much. Sure, because it, I bet there's, there's a whole lot of drops in here. Mm-hmm. That's like awesome. 250. Oh, I wish we had more Frankincense. Time. Frankincense? Yeah. Six months. Okay. I only use two drops a day. Okay. So, um, and that lasts me for six months. That is so good to know. Absolutely. These are great. Tell me again. We have like two minutes left. Tell me the name of your website again and spell it for everyone so they can go to it. Oh, the website's it. really long. It's, um, so let's do my email address. Email, okay. My email address is doTERRA with gum. D-O-T-E-R-R-A. Mm-hmm. With gum mm-hmm. at gmail.com. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Oh, there it is on the screen. <laughs> Oh, good. That was fun. Thank you yeah, so absolutely. much. I'm glad we finally worked this out where you absolutely. could come and teach me all of this. And I will have classes where we'll go more in depth okay. and teach Essential Oils 101, and I'll make sure you're able to make it. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could smell my hands. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> this is great. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time on Tammy's Window on Calaveras. I don't know which is my favorite. <laughs>